Author's purpose. Reasons for writing. There are three main purposes why people write. To entertain, to inform, and to persuade. Each text that you will encounter will serve one of these purposes. So whether it is a stop sign, a road map, a menu for a restaurant, or an advertisement, or a text that you'll study in class, each text will serve one of these purposes as its primary goal. And there can be some crossover between this. When we study the author's purpose, it isn't exactly uh, uh, an exact discipline like mathematics. But if you follow these general guidelines, you should be able to identify the author's purpose in a majority of the texts you will encounter. Writing to entertain. The main purpose of writing to entertain is to amuse readers. This does not necessarily mean that the text will be humorous. It could be sad, like a tragedy. But nonetheless... The primary purpose is as a diversion for readers. Readers uh, read them for enjoyment. Some examples would include stories, poems, and plays. Now, you may learn something from a story. You may find its message to be persuasive or informative. But nonetheless, know that the main purpose of any text that is a story, poem, or play is to entertain. Writing to inform. With writing to inform, the main purpose is to enlighten the reader, to give them insight or information on a topic. Some examples might include expository essays, nonfiction texts, instructions or directions. With informational writing, you may find it entertaining, but remember that the main purpose is to inform. So for example, if I'm reading a text about uh, ninjas and I'm learning about sharks or robots, uh, I may find this information to be very interesting to me. I may be uh, thoroughly enjoying reading it, but nonetheless, the main purpose of the author is to inform or provide information about the subject to readers. Writing to persuade. With writing to persuade, the main purpose is to convince the reader to do something or to reaffirm their existing beliefs. Some examples of writing to persuade would be persuasive essays, persuasive speeches, Persuasive letters or notes, such as a, a note that a child might leave to their parent asking for a puppy, or, or even an advertisement. With persuasive writing, uh, the writer is attempting to change the reader's mind or, or get them to do something. But this does not necessarily mean that the text may not be entertaining or informative. For example, a lot of advertisements on television are, are highly informative or, or um, entertaining. People watch these commercials on YouTube and uh, other various media sharing sites. But nonetheless, the, the main purpose of these is to persuade you, of these advertisements, is to persuade you to purchase a product or service. So entertainment is a factor, but the main purpose is to persuade. Um, and same thing with like uh, an essay. Perhaps I'm writing why the capital punishment should not be used in my state, uh, the state of Illinois. I might draw... Uh, reference to the information that more than half of the inmates on death row over the last 20 years were found to be uh, not guilty through DNA testing. So this may be enlightening information for the reader, but nonetheless, the main purpose of the essay is to persuade. So that's writing to persuade. Here are some tips to identify the author's purpose. I'm going to give you three questions you can ask yourself that will help you identify the author's purpose in most texts you will encounter. First, is the text a poem, story, or play? If it is a poem, story, or play, then we know that the author's main purpose is to entertain. If it's not, we go to the next question. Does the text mainly give facts and information? If yes, we know that the author's purpose is to inform. If no, we go to the next question. Does the text make arguments? If yes, the text makes arguments, then we know that it is to, the author's main purpose is to persuade. If not, we should probably start over at number one and begin to reanalyze our text to see if we missed something. 